Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the properties of water and why they are important for life. And for every one of these properties of water, you always have to link back to an explanation in terms of the actual interactions of water molecules with each other and its polarity. And because of its polarity, you can have hydrogen bonding that's, that's forming. So we're going to look at four properties, starting with cohesion and adhesion, which are both words for sticking to each other. And we're going to talk about the benefit to living organisms and also its explanation in terms of hydrogen bonding and polarity. So cohesion refers to when similar substances actually stick together. Well, that's kind of hard to say. Similar substances stick together. And in this case, we're talking about water sticking to other water molecules. The reason is because of hydrogen bonding. And we can say that the molecules stick together or that they cohere together. One benefit to living organisms is that as water gets taken up, through the stems and through the roots and through the stems and all the way up, it forms this continuous chain of water molecules pulling on each other through the xylem vessels. So that gives you an idea of how it's relevant for living organisms. You could talk about how the water molecules are sticking to each other when you're drinking through a straw, but I don't know, drinking soda may not be a justifiable benefit to living organisms. So stick to the plant example with xylem vessels and water being pulled up through transpiration. So another sticky word is adhesion. And in this case, here's another property uh, we have to distinguish from cohesion. So cohesion is when two substances that are the same or similar stick together. Adhesion means when two substances that are different actually stick together. So in this case, because we know that water is polar, it can actually bind and attract other polar substances. So things that are attracted to water are said to be hydrophilic. So an example, again, using the same plant example, when water is moving up through the tree, the water molecules can pull on each other. That's cohesion, remember, at the water molecules, but they can also stick to the inside of the xylem tubes. And when they're sticking to the inside of the xylem tubes, that's called adhesion because the inside of the xylem tubes are a different substance. But it's a cellulose wall that actually is hydrophilic and so water can attract to it and stick to it. Um, there's some benefits because if the water continues to stick to some of these areas then it actually can keep it moist and moisture is good for increasing gas exchange. So this can happen for plants in the stomata. It can also happen when we're talking about uh, gas exchange surfaces in the alveoli in your lungs. So the moisture also helps with increasing gas exchange. So another property of water is its thermal property. Thermal has to do with heat energy. So once again, hydrogen bonding comes to the rescue. Because of hydrogen bonding between water molecules, it ends up having a very high melting and high boiling point. And also, also because of the hydrogen bonding, it has something called high latent heat of vaporization and specific heat capacity. Um, benefits living organisms, there are many, and one of them is sweating, for example. So it makes it a good coolant when water can actually absorb a lot of energy. So think about when you're working out or when you're running, or for me, when it's walking up the stairs in the morning, I end up sweating like a pig. And when I'm sweating, actually, my body's trying to cool itself down. So the sweat actually takes the heat from my body, from my blood, and it evaporates and then removes the heat from my body, therefore cooling me down. So if your hands are wet, if your hair is wet, and you stand in front of a fan, it tends to feel cool. You're not blowing coldness onto yourself. What you're doing is you're actually removing heat. It, the water is evaporating from your hair and it's pulling the heat away. So water is very good at absorbing all this extra energy. It's another reason why ocean temperatures or you know water habitats, the temperatures don't fluctuate very much. I mean, they still do change, but they don't fluctuate as much as another type of liquid habitat would actually fluctuate. Remember to always link back to the reasoning behind this, and it's because of hydrogen bonding that results from the polarity of the water molecules. Remember, water has a partial positive and a partial negative side because of electronegativity. So when the water molecules are next to each other, they form hydrogen bonds, and it's these hydrogen bonds that are explaining all of these properties of water and their benefit to living organisms. Look at this beautiful dog who actually cools down by panting because the, the liquid spit or whatever here can actually evaporate it off and remove heat from this poor little dog that is baking in the sun. Another property is 
water's ability to dissolve substances it's a good solvent and it's why it's the main way that things get transported through a plant through the phloem through the xylem and also that's the way that things get transported through our circulatory systems and other animals circulatory systems blood is primarily water and blood is our transport system that helps to move everything around from amino acids to antibodies to glucose to oxygen some things can dissolve a little better in the in the water though and like salts and some things don't dissolve too well like oxygen that's why we need red blood cells to carry the oxygen but for the most part Water is one of the best solvents out there. Best solvents out there. Remember, the stuff that's dissolved inside is called a solute. The entire thing is called the solution. So water, in this case, is the solvent that's dissolving other things that are inside. So due to polarity, many substances can dissolve in the water. And this is great because this is the medium for transport and for metabolic reactions. Even our cells are filled with water. Outside of the cells have water as well too. So you've heard of, mm, have you heard of the phospholipid bilayer in a cell membrane, in a plasma membrane? Remember that the heads are always facing water and that's why the heads are always facing outside the cell and they're facing inside the cell. And in between all the little water-hating tails called the hydrophobic tails are kind of hanging out together so four properties of water cohesion adhesion thermal properties and solvent properties uh, you should be able to explain two things for each of these you should be able to explain the benefit to living organisms and you should also be able to give an explanation of how this property arises as a result of hydrogen bonding that results from the dipolarity and the polarity of the actual water molecules I gotta go drink a glass of water.